In this session, I'm going to be talking about uh, kind-heartedness. So if you remember in the last session, which was the first part of the four immeasurables, I spoke about uh, equanimity and how we should be treating people, people equally. So in this, which is the second part of the four immeasurables, we're looking at kind-heartedness. Now, many people get kind-heartedness and compassion mixed up, and they are very, very similar. But kind-heartedness is more about wishing happiness, wishing everybody to be happy. And compassion is more about wishing that people are free from suffering. And we'll talk more about compassion in the next session. So kind-heartedness is a strong wish for people's well-being people's prosperity, people's happiness. And it comes from a place of selflessness. This is the key here, that if we're looking for a, from a selfish point of view, then we're going to be back in the, the realms of discrimination again. You know, I'm gonna give kindness to them because I like them, but I'm not gonna give it to them because I don't think very much of them. So it has to be selfless. It, doesn't have to be about me I'm going to give you kindness because you show me kindness you know whether they show kindness back is irrelevant here it's to do with being selfless and a really strong wish that that person's well-being every person's well-being every human being's well-being is looked after every human has the right to search for happiness and peace of mind and this is what we're wishing here that people find that happiness find that peace of mind by doing a practice like this it helps build friendships because it just shows that we are interconnected and let's face it we all have to coexist here whether we agree with somebody's religion or we disagree with their religion or their nationality, their language, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. Because here, we're not looking at that. We're looking at human beings and how we can connect with human beings, how we can, you know, do our best to make them happy, build that interconnectedness, that friendliness. So, it's not really so much to do with the, the way we feel, but about the way we relate to our feeling. So this kind heartedness, it comes from the heart. It doesn't come from our head. I mean, too much of our time we are spent up in our heads, but we're not talking about that here. We're talking about from our heart, from my heart. I wish you kindness. I wish you to be happy. I wish you to have a peaceful mind. That is what kind-heartedness is about. Now usually when, and I suppose you can say another word for kind-heartedness is goodwill, wishing goodwill, wishing good wishes to other people. And a lot of the time we only do that if that person is useful to us or if they're pleasant and pleasing to us or if we can get something out of that sort of friendship. But that's not the way that we should be looking at kind-heartedness. You know, that's nothing to do with uh, kind-heartedness. Again, that's to do with our ego and it's to do with ourself. So it has to be selfless. So in the last um, session, I spoke about the three different types of people and how we built equanimity for those three different types of people. Well, we're sticking with those three different types of people here. And now we're going to wish them, from our heart, we're going to wish them kindness, happiness, peace of mind, from the heart. So these three types of people, if you remember, they are people that we care about. They're people that we don't really care about, we dislike or we're having problems with them. And strangers. So, each of these groups, we're going to look at these groups and try to build kindness towards them. And remember, when we're doing this uh, meditation practice, which we're going to do in a moment, I want you to really feel from your heart that you are giving kindness. 
So don't just think from your head, repeat the words from your head, because it's not going to help build kindness in you. It has to come from the heart, this. I have to really mean it. And so it becomes difficult when we're focusing on the people we dislike or we're having problems with, because we find it hard to show kindness to them. Of course, the easiest group is going to be showing kindness to the people we like. But, you know, we can't go through life like that. We've already seen in equanimity, we're all the same and we have to treat everybody the same as human beings. And here, everybody is the same and we have to show this kindness, this kind heartedness to all beings. So we're going to start off with people that we care about because it's always easier to bring up this warm feeling in our heart when we're thinking about people we care about. Then we'll look at the people we're having difficulty with and then we'll go on to the people who are neutral in our life or strangers. So the key thing here is that what we're trying to do, we're trying to build kind heartedness, a sense of goodwill to all beings coming from our heart, really meaning it. So I keep stressing this point because it's so important when we're going to recite phrases that you don't just blindly recite them, that you have that feeling behind it, that you really mean it, and it's coming from your heart. If you can do that, you will benefit so much from this meditation practice. If you're just going to repeat those words, then you'll benefit, but you won't benefit a lot. So sit comfortable, put your back straight, drop your shoulders, get yourself nice and relaxed. The key here is that if you're relaxed, then you're going to focus more on the meditation. If you're holding yourself tight, then it's difficult to focus on the meditation. So just be nice and relaxed, drop those shoulders, put your hands in your lap, and now just very lightly close your eyes. And to begin with, I want you to focus your awareness on your breath and just become aware that you're breathing in and you're breathing out. And don't change your breath in any way here. Just allow it to flow nice and naturally. Notice as you're watching your breath, it starts to slow down. Your body starts to relax. And your mind starts to become calm and steady. So now I want you to think of a person that you care about and bring that person into the front of your mind. And just bring up feelings of gratitude and kindness for this person. Just notice how you feel when you think about this person and try to hold on to those feelings all the way through this meditation.
even when we're looking at the two other different types of people. Now I want you to repeat the following phrases three times to this person you care about. And remember, when you're repeating these words, repeat them from your heart. Really engage with the meaning of the words. So repeat this phrase three times to the person you care about. I send you feelings of kind-heartedness. Repeat that three times. May you be happy, safe and secure. May you have a peaceful state of mind. Now I want you just to sit for a moment with these feelings of warmth and kind-heartedness for the person you care about. Really feel what it's like to have kind-heartedness. And now I want you to think of a person you're having difficulties with at the moment or somebody that you dislike. Bring that person into the front of your mind. And I want you to try to feel goodwill and kind heartedness towards this person. Remember, they're just like you. They want to be happy. They want to be peaceful. And they want to be secure. So really build up these feelings of kind heartedness to this person. And just sit with those feelings for a moment. Check in with your heart. What does it feel like to send kindness to this person you're having difficulty with?
Now I want you to repeat these phrases three times to this person. And remember, engage with the meaning of the words. Don't just blindly repeat them. I send you my feelings of kind-heartedness. May you be happy, safe and secure. May you have a peaceful state of mind. Now sit with these feelings of warmth and kindness for this person you're having difficulties with. And just put those difficulties to one side for a moment and see this person as a human being. Now I want you to think of a person who's neutral in your life, a stranger. Maybe you see this person on a regular basis, but you know nothing about them, you've never spoken to them. Just bring a person like that into the front of your mind. And try to feel kindness towards this person. Remember, everybody that you know right now, all your friends, were once strangers to you. So strangers can become friends. Just sit for a moment with these feelings of kindness for this person. And now repeat the following phrases three times. I send you feelings of kind-heartedness. May you be happy safe 
and secure. May you have a peaceful state of mind. Now just sit with these feelings of warmth and kind-heartedness for this neutral person in your life. We are now coming to the end of this meditation, but try to remember the feelings of warmth and kindness this practice has generated. And if you need to, you can always close your eyes during the day and revisit these feelings. So now just very slowly start to open your eyes and slowly introduce yourself back to the outside world. So I hope this practice has left you feeling some strong warmth and kindness in your heart. If you keep doing this type of meditation, that kindness just grows and it just becomes a habit and becomes a natural way for us to act. So this is how we do the practice um, formally. But also, you know, when you're out and maybe you start to have ill will towards people or, you know, a little bit of judgment or criticism towards them. So you can always have a set phrase ready for when you catch yourself thinking unkind thoughts to, towards somebody. And maybe you can say things like, uh, when you do, I send you my feelings of kind heartedness. Because you know, once we start sending feelings of kind heartedness to people, then it's really difficult for us to stay in that critical, judgmental state of mind. So pick a phrase that works for you, because if you pick your own phrase, it'll resonate better with you. But have a phrase ready, and whenever you catch yourself in the unkind state of mind, just have that phrase ready to go.